Shalom, happy Father's Day. Who is a father? We learn from the Bible, not from film, movies, or dramas, or from social media, but we learn from the Bible that all fatherhood in heaven and on earth comes from God, the Father. It is a privilege that you are fathers. You are a father of a family. And let us reflect on this beautiful topic, fatherhood. Who is a father? What, what does the Bible teach us? God the Father loves his people, loves his children. And out of love, he has created the universe. And out of love, he has made man. All are his children. And we pray every day to our Father, our Father in heaven. Holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. So this is the prayer we recite with devotion, with faith, every day, so many times. So this is our Heavenly Father. So first and foremost, this Father, Heavenly Father, He loves us always. He loves us unconditionally. And He has revealed His love through His Son, Jesus Christ. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, in this world to redeem the world, to save the world. And Jesus Christ died and rose so that we may have eternal life. To have faith in Jesus Christ is to have eternal life, to enter in the kingdom of God. So this is what we see God is love. Heavenly Father is all love. So also all fathers, earthly fathers, should follow to should receive, should be filled with this love of God. And with this love of God, you should love your children. This is the pattern. This is for us an inspiration that love like Heavenly Father. Love your children like Heavenly Father. Second thing we see, the Bible reveals to us that God the Father always forgives. And this is a beautiful story, beautiful parable of the prodigal son. When this son goes away from the father and how the father is patiently, anxiously waiting for his son. And when he comes back, he runs. He runs. He embraces his son and orders his servants orders his servants, arrange a garment, give him a ring, new shoes. My, this son was dead. Now he's risen. He was lost. And he has come back. There was a big celebration, big party. This is how God the Father loves his children, forgives us. And so also the earthly Fathers, each father has this heart of God to forgive your children when they make mistakes. You reveal God's forgiveness through you is revealed to your children. So be always, always be ready to forgive your children when they make mistakes. Then we see this heavenly father works. He created the universe in six days. He works and he continues working. So also earthly fathers are meant to work. They are responsible to raise their family, the children, and earn their bread, earn their living by working. Man's dignity is in his work. So never, never give up working. Work. Work, work, unless you are retired. 
but you have to work. Heavenly Father works. Learn. Heavenly Father is always working. We should be working, be responsible, be committed to your work. Then Heavenly Father never abandons his children. He never abandons us. He never leaves us. He is always with us. So also earthly fathers are supposed to be. Never abandon your children. Never leave your children. Even if they make mistakes, don't leave. They should be, your heart should be filled with the love, fatherly love for them. You see, the earthly fathers protect, the heavenly father protects his children. Heavenly father protects us. So also earthly fathers are supposed to protect their children from dangers, especially from danger of evil. Yes, this is your biggest responsibility to protect them, protect them. Heavenly Father feeds us, so also earthly father are supposed to feed their children the best food, not only physical, but also spiritual. Both are needed. Sometimes we see that many fathers are only concerned about material things, giving their children just material things. No, we should give them spiritual things also. They will be faithful to you. They will be love, God's love and love for, for parents in the children's heart if you do that. So inculcate in their hearts the spiritual things, the love of God. So, okay, material things are needed, but also spiritual things. Heavenly Father gives us both. So also earthly fathers are meant to give this food to your children. And we see, Heavenly Father guides us. Heavenly Father is our leader. He guides us. And so also, Earthly Father is, our, is the leader of his family. So be a good leader. You, Earthly Fathers, are heroes for your children. And this you have to show by your example. Give a practical example of, of holiness, of your sincerity, of your kindness, of gentleness, and of showing, committing your, yourself to the service of children. Show your responsibility, and the children learns from example. You should be a role model for your children. Otherwise, if you are not role model, the children will look for role model somewhere else. So this is important, very important for, for earthly fathers. We have beautiful example of, of Saint Joseph. How, what kind of father he was. God the Father entrusted his son, Jesus Christ, into his care. And he was watchful. He was honest, he was sincere, very hard-working uh, uh, man entrusted to the care of this holy family. You see how oh, St. Joseph, with his life, how oh, passionately he did and fulfilled this responsibility of becoming father to the Son of God. So my dear friends, at this moment, I pray that all the fathers, earthly fathers, may become like Heavenly Father, loving, forgiving, kind, fulfilling your responsibilities as Father, so that the kingdom of God may be established in your family. And many, many generations will follow this pattern that no one should be lost. And I, I pray for this, that all the families may be filled with the love of God, which is revealed to their fathers. This is Heavenly Father's love, which comes in your heart. And I pray all the families for this protection and guidance, and may all the fathers really fulfill their responsibility happily, and all families may live a happy, happy life. Happy Father's Day. Shalom.